What's going on today, guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're back in the shop, going to be doing another breakdown on tool review. Uh, today in front of us we have a Milwaukee M12 lithium ion cordless caulk and adhesive gun. Uh, this is the 12 ounce model here, uh, which is your standard um, caulking. Uh, it is a brushed motor. Uh, the tool itself is $169 for the M12. Um, the M18 is or $250. Um, and for a comparison, the 20 volt DeWalt uh, is a, almost $200. Uh, so this is actually the cheaper of the versions because it's an M12 and not the M18. Uh, it does come with a five year tool warranty. Uh, it is four and a half pounds, uh, 17 and a half or 17 inches long. It does have a 400 um, foot pound uh, force on it. Uh, it has six speed rotational here. And we'll go over uh, which one's best to use in certain situations. Uh, it does have a variable trigger. Uh, it does have an auto reverse. And we'll show you that real quick. And this, the tube here does spin. This itself doesn't spin um, because it's got the teeth here, as you can see. Uh, so this whole thing will spin and we'll get with that. But you can see the um, auto reverse as I push it in. Comes back just so there's no dripping at all, uh, which is really nice, especially if you're up on a ladder or say in a house that's almost done and you're doing some trim caulking uh, and you don't want to get anything else to have to do any further cleanup than you have to do. Uh, it does say that it will do 150 uh, 10 ounce tubes on a full charge. Um, now I assume that the 150 um, uh, tubs will do with a 6.0 battery and not your standard uh, 2 or 4.0 battery. Um, it does, <clears throat> with nothing in it, it will go from all the way back to all the way forward in roughly 15 seconds. Uh, I'm not sure how much, how long it'll take um, to go with a full can because I don't have any more full cans. This one is about half and we'll get with that just a little bit. Um, but how you push this button in and that will allow you to push this all the way back. Then you have to push it again for it to go forward. It has your standard little poker here. Um, it would have been nice if it had uh, something to cut this so you didn't have to carry a knife or snips or anything like that. Maybe like something, an attachment onto here or something to be able to cut it with. Uh, it does have this big old handle here, uh, which is nice if you're on a ladder or if you're working by anything and you just need to uh, put it down real quick. You can just hook it on to something real quick, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, now I did, uh, I did this one earlier where I haven't, I haven't used this one in probably, probably a month or probably about a month and I didn't poke a hole in it at all. And as you can see, it kind of made a mess in there to where it didn't want to allow it to push it out. So it actually started seeping uh, some of the caulking uh, on the inside of the tube. So even though it says it'll do 400 pounds of force, I would always um, stick the needle in there and give it a couple jabs. Always clean the needle off. It does have a little snap in point here. And then we're gonna go ahead and we'll put it in. We're gonna put it up to six since it's only half. As you can see, it has the auto um, backing on it, all the reverse, so it doesn't do anything. Uh, so there's no drippage. So we're going to start with one and we're going to just lay a couple, I guess, uh, small beads here on this little uh, makeshift trim piece that I have and we'll lower 
for it just a little bit more. All right, now on one, I will say that it does take a little bit. Oh, let me make sure it's in there. There you go. Now one does a really good job with uh, trim and small pieces as you see here. And then you can see the uh, auto reverse. Uh, there's almost nothing coming out of the tube. It's probably uh, me from just holding it on there. And as you can see, it's a fairly good line. Uh, there's really no bubbles or anything like that. And then of course you just, you know, take your finger and then now you got a nice smooth uh, caulking edge there. Now, if you wanted to bump it up to three, as you can see in the back there, let's see what three gets you here. As you can see, three is a little bit thicker. I'll, have, I'll definitely have a little bit extra, as you can see there. It's nothing, nothing pretty. I've got quite a bit over. There's definitely some chunks here. Uh, so if you're doing uh, something like trim or anything like that, uh, you can see the difference between the two. This one's nice and clean. May even be a little thick of how slow I was moving. And this one, I was definitely moving uh, probably about as slow as I was moving here. You can definitely see how much comes out there. Um, <clears throat> now let's go ahead and, you know, We'll see what it's got on six. Now six definitely gets away from you if you're not fast enough. But you can see there that it comes out. And even on six, you can see that there's almost nothing there uh, on the tip of it. And we'll go through that again. So if you're trying to maybe fill a, a, a gap or something, um, this probably would be easier, um, but once again, we can, I was using it on two once I got a, the hold of it, and you just lay a small little line there. As you can see, once again, there's no drip. Uh, now with this, obviously the best um, thing about it is there's no hand pumping. Um, do I think it's worth it? I think it's worth it if you use it like twice a week, even if you use it once a week, um, obviously depending on how much you use it then. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Like I said, it's 169. If you already have the Milwaukee line and you've got a couple of these batteries, um, you know, you could probably put one battery in there for at least a month or so, depending on how, how much uh, caulking or adhesive that you go through. Um, so with that said, uh, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, I'm glad I got it. I didn't, I don't really use it a whole lot, but I am glad that I do, uh, that I did purchase the tool. Um, so if you have any uh, questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Uh, if you uh, like the video and want to see some more, hit that like and subscribe. Until next time, guys.